Hi everybody, this is Jens from the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg 2015. I'm going around to look for interesting things here on the fair. And I'm now on the arm booth. And those guys, this is Chris, this is Seppo and Bogdan, they know everything about the Embed um, ecosystem of ARM. Chris, maybe you can tell us something about the uh, Embed uh, world? Uh, yes, yeah, so what we're showing is the Embed IoT device platform, uh, which has a number of components. Um, on the client side, we have uh, something called Embed OS, with lots and lots of software components that solve the general management and connectivity of the devices. And the aim of that is to actually make it a very rich developer environment so that it's easy to build the client devices. So ARM is no longer selling only IP cores. ARM is making more for the IoT. Yes, uh, uh, that's exactly right. I mean, we, our objective is to prol proliferate the adoption of IoT. And one of the biggest barriers that we see right now is uh, the lack of all the software that you need to make the connection. It, it's just much, much harder to do uh, if you're a developer just getting started, sourcing all the components, and we want to make it very easy. It's a foundation that everybody needs, and we're enabling the, uh, the ecosystem to, to have that foundation. I think a lot of our readers uh, do know the Embed compiler, the online compiler, but Embed is more. You have an Embed operating system now and an Embed device, so maybe you can say something about this. Yes. Uh, um, what we're doing is basically taking the, the spirit of Embed, which was about rapid prototyping, bringing ideas into uh, reality very quickly. And what we're trying to do is to enable people to do this at a production grade level. So we love the value that Embed has pioneered, which is get to a result quickly. And what we want to enable is that that result is actually of such high quality that you can just use it in production. Uh, and that's why we developed Embed OS. Uh, so the spirit is the same. And we're investing heavily to make it something that you, is not just for prototyping anymore. You can take it to market. And it's running on ARM Cortex M cores? That's right. Yes, it's, it's on ARM Cortex M right now. Uh, there, there are some Cortex A embed parts as well, by the way. Yeah. The, the other half of this puzzle in IoT is, is not just the device, but how you then connect it to the cloud. And for that, we have a, a product called Embed Device Server that provides all the necessary management and connectivity to these devices and then plugs you know, the connections into whichever cloud is your favorite cloud on the other end. And that's our story. <laughs> so we have uh, some demos here on the stand. Um, and I, I guess in IoT, one of the fundamental things is, is the connectivity part of the equation. Once you have a microcontroller, how do you connect it? And we are showing two different connectivity standards. One of them is, on the left is uh, Bluetooth Smart, that's already very popular. And on the right is something called uh, Thread that some of your readers might be familiar with, but it's not yet a standard that has uh, been ratified. But we are very busy working on because we think it's a very interesting one for the smart home. It's an IP-based standard, it's low power, it supports meshing, and hopefully later this summer it'll actually become something that's out there in products. And we're doing a lot of work now to to make that a reality. And Seppo is here to show you where we are with that. All right, thank you. So uh, over here, I'm showing uh, one of our early versions of the stack, the thread stack that's running on uh, Cortex-M microcontrollers using standard 15.4 radios. And uh, I can demonstrate here that the uh, these devices, they have formed functional uh, thread network and uh, this uh, provides application uh, IPv6 capable mess. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will show you here that uh, all these devices have uh, registered to our embed device server. Mm -hmm. which, and they have published a profile there that they all have uh, this called light control. I can send commands from uh, this uh, UI to all these nodes and now they have switched on one of the LEDs. I will now send another command. Yes, uh, I can see an Atmel yeah. board here. This is already yeah. available. Yeah, this is a normal Atmel development board. Okay. There is nothing special about it. And uh, this uh, 
this is just to demonstrate that you don't need anything more than just a standard 15.4 radios that are already available. I see all the pro thread protocol is done in software then, in the, in the firm? Yes. Yeah. It's a software stack and runs on a standard radio. And then this, uh, once the thread network is formed, I can show it that it's a it's standard COPE protocol running on top of the IPv6. So, mm -hmm. so thread is actually offering uh, applications the ability to run purely on IPv6. They don't need to control the thread or meshing part at all. It's uh, really easy to get started on the mesh. Can you say something about Coop? Maybe some readers are not familiar with this. It's a kind yeah. of HTTP for machines or um, things. Yeah, or it's a, Coop could be described as a HTTP for uh, small devices. Mm -hmm. It's a binary compressed and uh, mm -hmm. gives these uh, get and post commands, which uh, re it really easily translates to these uh, mm -hmm. like uh, switches and uh, okay. these kind of things. Mm -hmm. What could be a typical application for this thread protocol? Uh, thread is uh, designed for home areas, so typical applications would be light switches, thermostats, uh, actual lightning devices and things like that. And you do need some time now to bring it on the market or is it in a... Yeah, well, uh, the thread specification is uh, the, uh, currently in development, so it will be uh, published somewhere in the summer. And uh, after that, we are going to offer it as a part of this Embed OS platform. Okay. Thanks, Seth Paul. And Thank here you. we have another uh, demo Hello. application. Bogdan, can you show us something? What we see here? So what you can see here is the current offering that we have in Embed related to Bluetooth Low Energy. We have a number of platforms. So we have SOCs, Cortex-M plus Bluetooth Low Energy Radio on chip. This one is from Nordic. These are from uh, Sarvas Micro Devices. Okay. And uh, you can also have a combination of microcontroller plus BLE mm -hmm. radio external, so two chip solution. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of simple applications built on that. There are some beacons here. All they do is advertise on uh, URL. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is actually another beacon, and what we uh, show here is the power consumption of this beacon in particular. And we show you that with a standard coin cell and uh, using a one second advertising interval, mm -hmm. you can easily do about nine months of battery life from that. Mm -hmm. And you can do better if you go beyond that. We have this this beacon sends out data regularly. Yeah, so they pretty much, you can see them here in this uh -huh. uh, smartphone application, uh -huh. they advertise a an URL, mm -hmm. that's what they yeah. do. On uh, embed.org, you will find a number of uh, pre-existing libraries that can implement uh, various um, Bluetooth low energy profiles, mm -hmm. so you can use these pre-existing applications as a base for your code, mm -hmm. which makes development very easy. Here we have, um, uh, this is again a Nordic platform, and on top of that we have a heart rate sensor okay. on your finger. Okay. <laughs> so you uh, reach your heart rate and uh, sends it to the tablet that, uh, and that displays it. Mm -hmm. And all these boards, are, there ordi are these ordinary boards or can, can uh, we sell it in a shop or are there just demo applications for the fair? This one is definitely an ordinary board. You can uh, buy it easily through the regular uh, distributor channels. Uh, these ones are fairly new. Mm -hmm. You can probably, you can't probably buy them yet, mm -hmm. but I expect that you'll be able to buy them in the near future. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Bogdan. You're and thanks for Thank watching. You.